Hey everyone, hope you had a good weekend. Today on DARPAN, we talk about a major fire that engulfs New Westminster's pier. The CEO of the world's largest vaccine producing company says a vaccine won't be available for everyone before the end of 2024. A massive blaze tore through New Westminster's Pier Park on Sunday night, closing down SkyTrain service and traffic in the area. The fire started around 8 p.m. Sunday and firefighters were still dousing hot spots on Monday morning. The park was built in 2009 and includes a lengthy boardwalk along a reclaimed pier just west of a SkyTrain bridge linking Surrey and New Westminster. New Westminster Mayor Jonathan Cote tweeted, Devastating fire in Pier Park this evening. Just spoke to our fire chief. We are receiving assistance from fire departments across the region. The fire is being contained to the old part of the pier, but it is likely the old pier of the park will be completely destroyed. No one was hurt in the fire, and Cote said the cause of the blaze was not known. SkyTrain service, which was shut down between Scott Road Station and Columbia, was reopened in time for the Monday morning commute, but Front Street running parallel to the park remains closed from East Columbia right to... In a global race to produce a vaccine to fight the coronavirus, the latest news isn't a hopeful one. The chief executive of the world's largest vaccine manufacturer has warned that not enough COVID-19 vaccines will be available for everyone in the world to be inoculated until the end of 2024 at the earliest. Adar Poonawala, chief executive of the Serum Institute of India, says that pharmaceutical companies were not increasing production capacity quickly enough to vaccinate the global population in less time. Poonawala said it's going to take four to five years until everyone gets a vaccine on this planet, who estimated that if the COVID-19 shot is a two-dose vaccine, such as measles or the rotavirus, the world will need 50 billion in doses. The family-run Serum Institute, based in Pune, has partnered with five international pharmaceutical firms, including AstraZeneca and Novavax, to develop a COVID vaccine and committed to produce one billion doses, of which it has pledged half to India. Poonawala's assessment casts serious doubt on claims by politicians who have promised vaccines by next month, as concerns rise that large pre-orders from the U.S. and Europe will leave developing countries at the end of the line. The company is the world's largest vaccine manufacturer by volume, producing 1.5 billion doses of vaccines annually for use in more than 170 countries to protect against many infectious diseases such as polio, measles, and influenza. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe.